Welcome to the Miss Universe Triarchic Tree of Intelligence 2020. But before we move to the competition, let us talk about first on what is all about Triarchic Tree of Intelligence. Triarchic Tree of Intelligence was formulated by Robert Sternberg in 1980s. The tree attempts to understand the human intelligence in terms of distinct components rather than a single ability. It is categorized into three aspects, namely analytical, creative, and practical as an individual. These three aspects has their own key functions. First is what we call the analytical intelligence. It is the ability to analyze and critic, judge and compare, and of course, evaluate and assess. The second one is what we call the creative intelligence. It is the ability of an individual to create and invent, discover and imagine if, and of course, the ability to suppose that and predict. The third one is what we call the practical intelligence. It is the ability of an individual to apply and use, put into place and implement, and of course, render practical and employ. He argued that intelligent tests were wrong to ignore creativity and there are always other important characteristics like cognitive process, performance, decision-making skills, and so on. The battle begins. With 94 contestants, and now it's down to five. And in a moment, only three finalists will be left standing. Okay, get ready, because here are your final three. The first finalist with a chance to take the Miss Universe crown is... Philippines! Our second of three finalists is... South Africa! two finalists unfortunately your miss universe dream ends tonight our final contestant in the top three is venezuela ladies and gentlemen your three finalists Congratulations, but you three finalists, you have to stay right there where you are because the next round begins right now. It's time for the final word. Now, each contestant will be asked the exact same question. While one contestant answers, the others will be wearing soundproof headphones. You've each got 45 seconds to respond. If you go over time, you'll hear this sound. Venezuela will be using an interpreter. It's time for your final word. South Africa and Venezuela headphones on. Philippines, please join me. Congratulations. I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is all about analytical intelligence and can you expand your answer? 
I repeat, what is all about analytical intelligence? Analytical intelligence can also refer as to as being book smart. This form of intelligence is more in terms with the traditional definition of IQ and academic achievements. It is also called Componential Intelligence because of its analytical nature. The person with high analytical intelligence is good at problem solving. These people are generally more able to see the solution not normally seen because of their abstract thinking and evaluation skills. Analyzing someone's analytical intelligence can be done by a few general questions like how good are you at analyzing technical problems? Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. Please remove South Africa's headphones. South, South Africa, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Steve. Here's your question. What is all about experiential or creative intelligence? I repeat, what is all about creative intelligence? The ability to invent new ideas and solutions when dealing with new situations is regarded as creative intelligence. It is also referred as experiential intelligence. This form of intelligence is associated with using existing knowledge and skills in order to deal with new problems or situation. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa. Please remove Venezuela's headphones. Venezuela, please join. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, here is your question. What is all about practical or contextual intelligence? I repeat, what is all about practical intelligence? In simple words, practical intelligence can be defined as street mode, the ability of a person to adapt in an environment or change it accordingly to best suit the person need is dubbed as practical intelligence. Another way to understand such type of intelligence is as common sense. Dealing with the everyday tasks in the best possible manner show the person intelligence. Analyzing someone's practical intelligence level can be done by few general questions like would the person be taken advantage or easily? Do they adjust well to around them? And of course, are they comfortable with daily adventure? A person who is street smart or high on practical intelligence is more able to cope with the concrete solutions. And I believe that analyzing someone's practical intelligence can be done by a few general questions. Thank you. Thank you, Venezuela. Well, we will see all three of you later for your final look. Each of our three impressive contestants have gotten in their final word. Well, I wish that final word would work for me at my house, but it don't. Anyway, let's stick around because our three finalists get one last chance to show us what they got in their final look, along with the performance by three-time Grammy-winning Neo, Miss Universe Returns. I believe that the ability to invent new ideas and solutions with dealing with new situation is regarded as creative intelligence. It is also referred as experiential intelligence. This form of intelligence is associated with using existing knowledge and skills in order to deal with new problems or situation. Analyzing someone's creative intelligence is very important. Example of this is James Bond is a person with high creative intelligence because of his ability to use his knowledge and practical skills to deal with new problems at every time. Thank you. 
In simple words, I believe that practical intelligence can be defined as a street mark. For example, Johnny is considering buying a second hand motorbike. A salesman being salesman would obviously try to con the buyer, but Johnny is already prepared with price comparison and has made up his mind to say no to unnecessary extras. Thank you. I believe that analytical intelligence can also be referred as to as being book smart. This form of intelligence is more in terms with the traditional definition of IQs and academic achievements. For example, Emma always high on standard tests is because of her ability to evaluate and analyze material using abstract thinking. Thank you. The crowning moment. Finalists, it's time. I will now announce the second runner-up. The second runner-up for Miss Universe is Venezuela. Congratulations, Venezuela. Only two women remain, South Africa and Philippines. Please come center stage. Both of you have worked so hard to get here, but only one of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. <laughs>